thing I know for certain is that these are bad people. And we look forward to working closely with the Blair government to deal with the issue. My parents went to Pakistan and they saw a bride for me. My mom come back saying that I should go out to Pakistan and get married. So I got a ticket and I went. <laughs> I didn't really want to go because I had a job I was working, but she was telling me it's, it's time for you to go to Pakistan. I left from Birmingham Airport, and from there I went straight to First Love Island. And then I caught a taxi to my village. I was there for about four days. I saw the girl and I decided I would get married. So I found Raw. Hello, Raw. I said, Wagwan. Wagwan, I heard from you, Langman. Well, when he asked me um, you know, to, go to, to go to his wedding, I thought, yeah, why not? At the end of the day, he's my friend and I should go. And also, it'll be a great holiday. <laughs> Come back soon. I'll come back soon. I'll come back soon. Bye. Me, Shafiq, and Maria got a cab to the airport. What's that? You ready, eh? Yeah, man. I wanted to go to Basil's wedding. Plus, I haven't been to uh, Pakistan for like 13 years. And I wanted to see some of my family again. You got a passport, yeah? Yeah, I got it. Visa, everything. Yeah. You're right, Maria, yeah? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? Well, everything's good. Yo, I can't believe you're going to Pakistan, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be mad. You want to take turns swapping seats? Yeah, man. <laughs> Mania was a very nice guy. He was Bengali like me. He would never say anything bad against anybody. We learned to that Karachi. We didn't want to stay in the hotel because we thought it'd be expensive. So we went to a mosque. Crowds marching in the streets of Karachi today. Organized by Pakistan's Islamic parties, they're supporters of the Taliban. It's one sign of the political turmoil that seems certain to follow American military intervention in Afghanistan. I spent about a week in Karachi. I walked around, sightseeing, going shopping, just chilling out. Shafiq went to visit his family, so me and Munia had a few days to ourselves. They were supposed to come to the village, but instead I ended up going to Karachi. Bye-bye. Shafi came back to Karachi. He brought his cousin, Zahid, with him. Where are you from in Pakistan? I am from Multan. Multan. Yeah, man, good. Ru was my like kind of like best friend, yeah. Even though he was Bengali. I've known Asif since the day he was born. What's been going on, man? I've been shitting, man. Mainly, I've just been shitting. Been shitting. The mama's gonna hook It was Friday prayers, and we were walking past the mosque. A lot of people were going in, so we went in with them. Afghanistan, man. Bombari. Afghanistan, man. Chabar kehte iktadar ki tabdili, patri, riyas 
People get hyped, do you know what I mean? Then they start shouting slogans out. The preacher was saying you should help the Afghani people in whatever way you can. And also, he was thinking of going over to see what Afghanistan is really like. If everyone agrees to go, then we go. Because there's only 250 rupees here. Both for going there, yeah? Going, for, one, for experience, and two, to help. You know the food there as well? You know the naan? Big nuns, you know that? Yeah. Some big nuns. That's the main thing. I see nuns this big. Yeah. They're the food big they are. What language they speak there? Can I speak Urdu to them or what? I think they speak Pashto. Should be alright. Pashto. We don't know basically. Uh, the only know. way we know is that we go oh. and see it. Grab that, grab that kutsu. No, 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 shit. Yeah, better. Yeah, better. Give him the rice and that, man. No one's even eating it. Hey, roti ke saad khali. That's, if that's what we're doing in Afghanistan, man, that'll be a good thing, you know what I mean? Basically, while I was there, the two weeks, the whole people I spoke to Pakistan, they were saying, oh, Afghanistan's not going to get attacked. So we jumped on a bus and off we went. Yo, you see the flies up there? Fucking that back wash that is, I'm not even using that man. Like the bus driver hit someone and uh, we all got out to look. The bus driver just disappeared, he ran off. So we had to find another bus driver to drive us to Quetta. When we got to Quetta, we had to change buses. Just before we got to the border, we stopped at a mosque. That's how I got left behind. Border trade continues unimpeded. Amongst those crossing are brave Afghan aid workers. The people rely on them for food and health care and to explain their needs to the outside world. I come on motorbikes. We paid them, um, I think, 100, 100 rupees. And they took us across the border. Why are you come back by tomorrow? Settle thing. across the border. No one stopped me. Where the fuck are you? 
my dickheads! How could you fucking leave without me, man? You are mad. You love your shit, and the next time you can shit in the van. Come, Come on, on, you know what I'm saying? When we crossed the border, that was it. It looked like, oh, it's nothing. You just cross over. It's like, you're not even going into a different country. But once we got there, it was, then it was a different situation. Do you see that? As soon as we got to Kandahar, that's when the bombing started happening. You see something like that in the movies only. Fuck you, man. Hey, sorry, I'm not mad. Can I show you something? Feel like shit, man. Oi, look at them lawns. Fucking big, ain't it? Yo, they're massive. We get two, man. Yo, give me some. Kandahar in the south of Afghanistan, the Taliban heartland. These pictures from Al Jazeera show support for the Taliban seems still strong here despite American bombing. We just spent one day in Kandahar, then we left for Kabul. The journey to Kabul was terrible. Let's go sleep here by the time you wake up, man, we'll be there. Kabul to kitni do eh? Kabul does bara gantera. Are you okay? Ah, tomorrow I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little U.S. bombing raids continue around the clock, attacking Taliban tanks and trenches north of Kabul. We stayed in Kabul for about two and a half weeks. It stinks. Just like spices and shit. Yeah, that's the shit, yeah. Hit me up for that. Well, like, I thought we were going to die. You know, he went that bad, right, in Afghanistan that I thought we were going to die. Oh, 
bread is shit. Better than nothing. And yeah, all the stuffed yeah. crust pizzas. <laughs> With the melted cheese in the crust, man. I think the naan's getting to We were just basically just chilling there and we were just getting pissed off because we're not doing anything. This is not what we came for. For the first time, bombs landed in the center of the Afghan capital. This is said to be a residential area. No deaths were claimed here, but the Taliban say 15 people were killed when a missile struck a mosque in Jalalabad. We just got on it, assumed it was taking us in the right direction. in the middle of Norway. That's when he's thinking, where the hell am we? What's happening? This guy used to come to us. We used to ask him every day. The one day he came and took us to Kunduz. The United Front soldiers on the road to Kunduz this morning were in high spirits. Word was out that the city was about to fall, and these men hoped to be among the first to drive in. Everywhere you looked, there was foreigners, and you could tell it was all a fight because they had all the clashing coughs. Bombs never dropped in town, but it dropped, like, on the outskirts. Once we were in Kunduz, we were trapped. The guy who is bombing on us. Basically, our thought, yeah, you know, this is going to be my last few days. North Alliance commanders say this is the last battle for the Taliban's last northern stronghold.
news came that they've actually they've actually broke the front line in Kunduz and have actually entered Kunduz now and everyone started panicking. Everyone just ran towards the trucks. <laughs> Start looking for money, we couldn't find him. <laughs> And we ended up on the trucks and people go, oh, you'll find him, you'll find him. But we never did. So that's the last time I've seen one here. Just literally drove about a good hour to the outskirts of Kunduz and they dropped us off there because they had to go back and uh, collect the remaining people left. We told each other that we're always going to stick together. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, there's bombing. circle and we came back from where we started off Yo, sir, going this way. Oh, more, yeah. Big enough if it was on that truck. If I had put my shoe on and got onto the truck, then maybe it wouldn't be, you know what I mean, alive.
could hear people screaming and every person I come across, basically, either his legs were blown away or his stomach was popping out, his arms come off. When someone's in agony and you can't do nothing for him, it's like, it affects you in a big way. He was basically just covered in blood. Every part of his beard, his face, everywhere, he's just like covered in blood. He, and you could smell like a stench of blood on him. The ruling them was on a truck and I just jumped on. Watched as Taliban fighters cross the front line in a long stream of vehicles. This is the largest single surrender of Taliban forces that has been witnessed by outsiders such as ourselves. The United Front knows that the eyes of the outside world are upon them and especially on how they treat their prisoners, Afghans, but especially those from outside the country. We came out with this hope that they are our brothers, they are Muslims, and they would not abuse us or treat us badly. And that's also what they promised us. They took us not far, it must have been about three or four miles. I thought the guy was going to kill me because he started pointing his gun at me. The time in mind, I was thinking, is it just that? And then I'll put fire on everybody. And in the distance, there was like, they were making mass graves for people and they were throwing bodies in. And you could see on the other side, yeah, there's like people who'd been injured. And you could tell they're still alive and they were throwing them into the ditch as well. They tied their hands behind their backs, really tight, so you'd, like, you'd lose circulation in your arms.
there was a massive ditch there. They sat everybody into the ditch, and around the ditch there was gunmen, and everyone thought, yeah, they're going to shoot everybody in this ditch and kill everyone. Me and Shaf managed to get on a truck, same truck. As he was with us, because the truck was full, he couldn't get on. It must have been about a day, day and a half, to Mazar Sharif. Me and Shuffle's lucky we got into the canvas container. It was run packed. <laughs> about five minutes, it started getting really humid. And it's like starting to get difficult to breathe. Some people, they were screaming. Some were banging, some were praying. I got up and I started screaming. And like the guy who was next to me, he pulled me down. As he brought me down, it was like easy to breathe. All of a sudden, it's, it's got knocked out. A few hours later, we heard like shooting. We didn't know what it was. It went on for about a half an hour, an hour. <laughs> then it all of a sudden went quiet. Next time I woke up, there's all light inside the container. Then I noticed oh, there's a body next to me. Oh, there's a body under, underneath me. It's wet and really cold. And I had a, had a cloth. I ripped the cloth and I start wiping the water off and just squeezing it and drinking it. They were taking bodies off the trucks, dead bodies, and throwing them onto a pile and searching their pockets. I don't know what's happening. It's like just like a zombie. <laughs> You could smell like the stench of, like basically it was death. You could smell on him. You're right. Shebagan Prison, northern Afghanistan. Hundreds of Afghan and foreign fighters are being held here 
in extremely overcrowded conditions. These Taliban fighters are presumed highly dangerous after the recent riots in nearby Kalajangi prison, where several hundred Taliban prisoners overpowered their Northern Alliance guards. You go for days without food or water. At night it was so crowded that we had to take turns in sleeping. Once the Red Cross come, things start getting better. Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. In the prison, everyone told us just don't say you're British. Uh, what's your name? Ramesh. Ramesh. Where are you from? Ramesh. From Pakistan. We're all from Pakistan. What did you Give me one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Pass it. I thought you tell the journalist, man, our story. Fucking sell them it in love. Just stick to the story, man. We're from Pakistan. We get home quicker. What? English. English. Only a person who can speak English. Yeah, English. Yeah, we're not English. Yeah, we're. Yes, sir. You want to go? Be careful, huh? Time to get free. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What the? What the? What is your name? Ruel Ahmed. Age? Twenty. Where are you from? I'm from Tipton. Where in fuck is Tipton? Tipton, Birmingham. You mean you come from England? Yeah, Tipton, England. You're yeah. from England, you asshole? What, what are you doing here? Fuck, man. Answer me! You come on a trip, man. Who's we? Me and two of my mates. Names. What are their names? Come on. Shafiq Razul and Asif Iqbal. OK, yeah. thank you. Listen. You're in U.S. custody now. It's okay. Take him away and search him. Search sure. me. Bring me Shafiq Rasul and Asif Iqbal. Search me. Get up. Why search me? We're primarily looking at detainees that we can use for collecting intelligence. Let's go. Shafiq, Shafiq. Let's go. Check. Two. Check. Where? Let's go. Check. 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 Because you live in Britain, you got this thing about Americans, you think, oh yeah, they're all right, like? Name? Asif Ikba. Well, I thought, yeah, he's, he's all right now. I mean, nothing's gonna happen, but I was wrong. Where are you from? From Pakistan. Don't lie to me, Shafiq. Where are you from? From Pakistan, Karachi. Don't fucking lie to me! One more time now. Where are you from? I live in England, but came from Pakistan. Ah, came okay. here from Pakistan. Set up straight. Put your legs out. What's going on? Shut up! Like... Shut up! I thought there was a hangus. Get the car. Get the car.
When the guy was searching me, when he threw me on the floor, he was kicking me at the same time. Kandahar Air Base in southern Afghanistan. It's now a prison for some of Al-Qaeda's most dangerous fighters. I think we're now down to uh, sorting out the really bad guys. Uh, so our guard is up. Uh, so the Marines are, uh, are ready for anything. He wasn't allowed to talk, he was not allowed to walk. You know, you couldn't look up, you, you know, you couldn't look at the soldiers. Relax, Stand up, that's right. Relax, Come here. Bienja. Come here. Bienja. Show me your hand. That's not going to be Prisoner 78! 8! 78! Relax, you many are have. Get back, all the way back. You know the drill. Go all the way. Turn Place on. away from us. Place it's away. Go, go, go! Get him up! Put him on his knees. On his, get on your knees. On your knees. There you go. Private. Straighten him up. Yes, sir. Take the bag off his head. Thank you. Can you see me? Can you see him? See me? If you move. He'll shoot you. Thank you, Private. <clears throat> what's your name? Shafiq Rasul. And uh, what's your date of birth? 15th April, 1977. April, okay. Who are you traveling with to Pakistan? It was with my friends. One of them was getting married. And they're here as well. Apart from one of them got lost in Kunduz. Because he got on one of the earlier convoys to leave. Like one of the ones that got bombed. You mean he's dead? I think so. What's his name? Mune. Ah! 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 Get back! Get back! Three, two, one, stay where you are! Hold on! Get back in position! We turned off! Everyone back! Move it! Move it! We turned off! Turn the car off! It was, it was hot in the day, and he's freezing in the night. You want one? Hey! Not get you, get back! Over here, man! Over here, man! Hey! Over there! Go on, get back! Get back! Get back! Get back. You, you! 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 Back! 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 Yo! Yo, you duck! Every hour, they'd wake us up, make us stand in the line, and they'd take everyone's numbers. Let's see your wristbands. Hold them up. Let's see your number. 72, 10, 79, 60, 21, 147, 207, 28, 15, 91. Move it. Go, go. What the fuck, man?
you move, I will shoot you. You understand? Yeah, yeah. You want some moves? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Because you can have as much as you want. More than you could possibly eat. Uh, if you tell us what the other people are saying. What do you want to know? Well, let's start with uh, absolutely anything. Well, I don't speak the language now, do I? What do you talk? I talk Bengali. And them? No, I don't. They do Arabic, something. I don't know. You know what I think? I think you're full of shit. Gosh. You've been hanging out with these guys how long? You don't understand one goddamn word? Well, do you? What is that? Get up! Move yourself! On your knees! Get down! Get down! Face down! Uh, down! Uh, head down! Uh, uh, go! Are you? Oh! Fuck you! If you looked at a guard, right, what do they do, they point, they always do like do this, point at you in your eyes and say, look down, just to do those hands all the time. And if you looked at them, basically that was it, you know, you'd get punished. Hey, you! Get your ass down! You're Al Qaeda. No. Stick that motherfucker up. Look at me. You're Al Qaeda. Uh huh? Oh. Oh. You're Al Qaeda. No, no. Oh. Oh. Listen, oh. motherfucker. Oh. Do you know this can stop oh. whenever you make the decision? It can stop, or it could go all night. Okay? We could be here all night. We could be here all day tomorrow. All right, you're Al Qaeda. We got you with the Taliban. You were arrested by the Northern Alliance. All right, now I want to know where Bin Laden is. Look at me. Where's Bin Laden? I don't know. I ain't got a clue. Pick him up. When he's punching me, I was getting knocked to the floor. And when I come back, my face was all bruised up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. The people that were already there, they already had crowns. Shake down! Move it! Everybody up! How do you guys do? Up! Get up! Clothes over there. They grab him and throw me where we used to urinate. They used to throw him in there. You gotta do it faster. I'm trying to beat a minute 30. Come on, we can do it. Move, move, move. Get my chair. Sit him on a chair. You yeah, uncuff him at the back, cuff him at the front. So, Asif, surprised to hear another British voice? Yes. Both quite a long way from home, it seems. But the difference between you and me, Asif, is I can explain why I'm here. You, however, seem to have a little more difficulty doing that. So, should we start at the beginning? Everything all right? I've got your police records here, and I've got Asif police records here. If you don't believe me, have a look at this. Those are forms from Interpol. So? So I just want to clarify that I'm not bullshitting you. And I don't want you to bullshit me. It's going to make both of our lives a lot easier. <laughs> Let's just have a quick look at your police records, shall we? Fraud. Deception. Handing stolen goods, violent disorder. Yeah, we weren't charged for it. But those facts are true, then? Yeah. So I'm not bullshitting you? No. 
So do you want to tell me what you're doing at Finsbury Park Mosque? I wasn't nowhere near Finsbury. I don't know what you're on about. I was in Finsbury Park Mosque. Perhaps you want to tell me about how you became a member of Al Majaroon? Who? Yeah. Get up. Sit him in the chair. Are you surprised to hear that 16 hours after you left England, your home was raided? That's bullshit. No, no, it's not bullshit. It's the truth. Is it bullshit that you've attended Birmingham Central Mosque? No, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Is it bullshit that you got in a coach and went to a march in London? Does that ring true with you? I find that very hard to believe. Don't suppose you get a lot of news back home what's going on. I'm going to show you something. It's a little treat for you. Have a look at this. These are copies of papers from the Home Office. See that? Interpol. Home Office. This is a new law that our government has just drawn up, allowing the authorities to deport any families with any connection to terrorist cells or terrorist organisations. Do you understand the implications of that for you and your family? My sister's at uh, Exeter University, isn't she? I wonder how easy it'd be to continue her university course in Pakistan. You see how serious this is? 78! 78! Move it now! Don't move! Don't you fucking move! Up, up, move it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Move it! Move it! Move it! On your knees! On your knees! Lie down! Put your legs up! Al-Qaeda and Taliban prisoners arriving today in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Despite international criticism, America insists that the conditions inside Camp X-Ray are humane. The fact remains that treatment is proper, and there's no doubt in my mind that it is humane and, and appropriate and consistent with the Geneva Convention for the most part. Remember, these are the ones in Guantanamo Bay are killers. Uh, they are... Uh... They don't share the same values we share. On his knees, facing this way. Uh, knees down. Uh, third pole. Don't let him look. Don't let him look. You're now the property of the U.S. Marine Corps. This is your final destination. Down. Keep your fucking head down. Get your legs crossed. We were sitting like this on our knees uh, for ages. We were sitting there. It was like really that. hot there. You could feel the sun burning your head. 
Come up that go, far. Go. Hey, get a medic! Get up. Take him out of here. Brick trader? Huh? Get on your knees! Get on your fucking knees! I'm not doing it for you! So take these off! Shut up! Get away from the fence! Get away from the wall! Get off of the fence. That's your piss bucket, that's your drinking water, all right? Stay off the fucking fence. Shut up! For the first month and a half, we never went out ourselves. What the fuck are you doing? Take it down. I'm just putting up some No, shape. take it down now. Just sit down and be quiet. You speak English. For Christ's sake, you should know the rules by now. They wouldn't let us pray. You couldn't stand up in your cell. For the first two weeks, we weren't even allowed to speak to the guy next to us. First of all, when I seen it, like, have you watched Back to the Future? You know, the guy who wears a yellow suit? I thought he's, that's happening, like. Hey, fuck stick. Quit praying. Hey, stop praying. Wait right there. They called it Extreme Reaction Force. It's five soldiers in riot gear who come into your cell. Their job is to secure you. Take him out. Go, go, go. That's it. No talking. Hey, take that towel off your head. Now. Let's go back in the cell now. Come on, move. Don't move. Come on, move. What is your name? Asif. Asif Iqbal. Where are you from? Asif. Tipton. I'm from the British Embassy. How are you? I don't want to know about your uh, emotional state. I want to know about the state of your health. Asif, what were you doing in Afghanistan? I wanted to get married. Your friend in Afghanistan has already told us you went there for jihad. That's bullshit. If you tell us the truth, you can go. I'm, saying, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I don't know if I know what jihad, man. I wanted to get married. I left Tipton to get married. My dad's in Pakistan, you can ask him, he's waiting for me. Your friends have told us you were there on a jihad. What friend? How did you end up in Afghanistan? I can't prove anything. Yeah, and you're not going to believe me. So, I'm not going to say anything else.
you don't bite ya. <laughs> look at ya, look at ya. What, eat it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, stop fucking about, man. <laughs> Come on, stand up, stand up. OK, I'm from... MI5 in England, we're here to ask you some questions and to help, OK? You answer my questions as best that you can. We'll do what we can to get you out of here as soon as we can. Do you know anywhere about some of my mates, Asif and Shaf? Are these the two friends of yours you arrived in the country with? Yes. Your two friends, people you describe as friends, have reportedly said that you're with Al-Qaeda. That's bullshit, that is. Bullshit. Is that your comment on it? I don't think you're even telling me the truth. No, I'm just asking some questions. I thought you were here to help me. I'm trying my best to. No, it's and you have no reason to understand why your two friends would say you were linked with Al-Qaeda. I think that's bullshit what you're telling me right so there. I don't can think, you imagine I don't the reason? Think they've can even you told think you of that? the reason why they would say that about you? But that's the thing. I don't even think they have to said that about me. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, cut that out. No talking. What was he going to do? Wait, that's what it reminded me of, I was at Papa Zoo. What the hell are you doing? Hey! What are you doing? You praying like a Muslim? What the hell are you doing? I thought you were a Brit. What about your queen? 186 captives are now in Guantanamo Bay, being questioned inside these wooden huts by CIA, FBI, and military interrogators. I guess you want to be in these fucking things forever, huh? That's what you want to be? Do you want to be in here for fucking ever? You don't get fucking smart with me, boy. Don't get fucking smart. You're going to tell me right now, you're going to tell me the truth, huh? You're going to tell me? Oh. Did you just say you're a fighter? I thought I, fu I thought I fucking heard it! Don't waste my time! He either destroys you or he makes you stronger. I think he made me stronger. He destroyed me for a few weeks. I thought that was all right. Dr. Dre, Eminem, Tupac, nice or not? Would you, would you add me a... Nice or not? Yeah. Say we boy. Say we boy. Better watch your back. Better watch your back. The man on my back. The man on my back. With the wicked chap. With the wicked chap. Don't watch how the lyrics attack. No. 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 Guru, guru, guru. Guru, yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal Still awake? Why don't you give me one of these raps I hear you teaching these guys? What, do you want to hear me rap about? I don't care, man. Anything. Oh, listen, yeah? Oh, listen up. My name's Shafiq Rasool and I'm from Tipton. I tell them my Taliban, but they don't want to listen. You won't believe I just came out here for my mate's wedding, do ya? I never thought my ass would be heading for Cuba. 
and in between, I've been through mad different shit we couldn't handle. But the worst is having them shackles slicing up your ankles. And yo, between me and you, these guards are retards. They see him on his knees, they think he's praying to the right, queen enough, star. Enough. All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, no. Thanks, anyways. Get some sleep. Hey, sit down. No walking around. How come? No exercising. You know the rules. Oops. In Camp X-Ray, we used to walk five minutes every week. They used to take us out for five minutes. Afghanistan says that you're linked to Al Qaeda. That's bullshit. We found your brother's file as well. That's bullshit. And we also found your passport. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. No, you didn't. Yeah, my passport did. to my uncle's house. Well, we found your passport there. You know, you're quite famous. I, uh, I put your name into it. the internet. I got 13,000 hits. Very unlikely. He was guilty of fighting in Afghanistan. Yeah. Okay, well. Keen on fashion and religion. What's wrong? Hmm? My nephew's died. And this is the first you've heard? I'm not answering any more questions to you. What was his name? Get off. I need to see your hands. Veg! Veg! Hey! Veg. Hey, sit down! Veg. Shut the fuck up! Hey, Veg! Sit down! Veg. Hey, Veg! Stupid motherfucker. Veg! Sit the fuck down! Veg! Shut the fuck up! Veg! I'll shove this up your ass! Veg! <laughs> Stupid motherfucker! Sit down! Veg! Sit down! Veg. Sit, down. Veg. sit the fuck down! Oh, he's crazy, man. Yeah, Just leave him. Sit the fuck down. You shut your fucking mama's a bitch. He's, he was mentally disturbed before he even came to Cuba, and he used to shout at everyone all the time. You see nothing yet, motherfucker. Beat the shit out of him. Hold him down. Hold him down. Hold him down. That's only a taste, motherfucker. That's only a fucking taste. I've been told we haven't found your file in Afghanistan, it was someone else's. 
So, what were you doing in Afghanistan? Hey, you, wake up. There was, there was rats, mice, there was snakes, you know, scorpions. Wake up, don't move. Don't move, I'm coming in. There's a tarantula in your cell, okay? Oh, what? Stay quiet, okay? Don't move, I'm coming Look. in. Don't move. Fuck you know. It's dead, it's dead. It's a big bastard, right? Yes, it is. Fuck you know. Okay. Go back to sleep, it's all good now. Yo, thanks a lot, man. Alright. Thanks. No problem. Alright, everybody, show's over. Get back to sleep. Asif and Shafiq were kept in Camp X-Ray for three months. Rule spent six weeks there. The US government announced today that prisoners are being transferred to a new purpose-built facility in Guantanamo Bay named Camp Delta. Come on. Go, you. Up, up, up. Were you a member of Al-Qaeda? Al-Qaeda? No. How long were you in Afghanistan? Afghanistan, we get me there. You know I can speak English, yeah. I'm British. You speak English, you don't need a translator. I'm hmm? British. Are you an observant Muslim? Are you a good Muslim? I try to be. We were in Delta for about a month, then we all arrived. Yes, guys. Oh, oh no! Yes. Oh no! Yes, oh no! Oh uh, no! One man, two fuckers. Fuck you, you fuck face. Fucking hell, you like got a five star here. Yeah. You still have you in the dog kennel? Ah, oh, you fucker. <laughs> hey, keep, it keep it down. Keep it down. Oh no, that toothbrush. <laughs> Fucking hell. We were in Camp Delta for about a year, and nothing happened. Just the same questions, over and over again. And then it all changed. I want to show you something. You said you were wearing an Adidas tracksuit. Adidas tracksuit bombs, yeah? That's not what you said. Why, what is this? This is your friend Asif Iqbar. Who? No, he isn't. This is you in your Adidas tracksuit. That ain't me, man. I've not wore Adidas tracksuit. I've told you I wore Adidas bottoms. That's not what you said. Recognize him, Muhammad Ada? Who's that? He headed the 9 11 attacks. This is you. That right? ain't me, man. That ain't me. This is you. I've told you, man. At a rally in Afghanistan held by Osama bin Laden, right? I've told you that's a fucking good picture, that is. But that, that ain't me. But that ain't me. L7. Yes. Chill out, all right? Who the fuck did you go for so long? Must be Sheffy Grizzle. I've come from Washington. This is a rally in Afghanistan. Do you remember being here? Watch closely. I want you to tell me if you recognize anybody here. This is Osama bin Laden. He's addressing the rally. These people sitting here, you recognize any of them? Asif, Ruel, you? This is 2000, yeah. 2000, is that the date? That's what it says. Yeah. So I wasn't even in Afghanistan in 2000. First of August. Yeah, I was working in Curry's. I was working at Curry's all through the summer. It may not be 1st of August. It may be January 8th. It doesn't matter. I was working at Curry's throughout the whole of 2000. I wasn't even in Afghanistan. I can see you on the tape in Afghanistan 
in 2000. How can it be me if I wasn't even Because I can see you on a video with your friends, Ruel and Asi, like listening me. to Osama bin no, Laden in Afghanistan. The woman who was in there said to me, um, we've put people in isolation for years and eventually they break. I was there for about three, three and a half months. Stand up. Stick your arm through. Have a nice day. Whole different story for us now. He's like he was getting punished, and he was nice. I was in, he was nice for ages for about two or three months. Like, there's a hook on the floor, the leg irons are attached to the hook. Then they put your hands between your ankles at the floor and chain you to the hook on the floor as well. Keep you there for like an hour, sometimes two hours, five hours, six hours. You can't go to the toilet. You ha you have to urinate to defecate where 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 you are. Osama bin Laden? No. Did you fight with the Taliban? No. I was put in a room with AC on. And then I was put in stress positions. Help! <laughs> Help! They wanted me to say I was a fighter. Once I said I was a fighter, the next thing is, you're a member of Al Qaeda. Once you say you're a member of Al Qaeda, they're going to. That's it. Did you say you're a fucking fighter? Yeah, yeah. Are you a Get fucking fighter? Yeah, just no, you're yeah. fucking stay right there. Uh, what have you said? Are you admitting to me that you are a fucking fighter? Is that what you yeah. are? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You are a fucking yeah. fighter? Yeah. Are you fucking yeah. fighter? You're saying? I said it was me. I go, if I admit it, what will happen? He goes, you will go court. I go, give me a pen and paper and write it down for you. And I said, I was, that's me in that photo and I was there. Hello, Asif. Your case is gonna be taken to a tribunal. How do you feel about that? That's good. Excuse me? I said that's good. It's good? Yeah. You know, why do you say that? January, I'm in England. August, I'm in England. 
just this is not a not a problem. I can prove I was in, in England. Not bullshitting you. Go check it out. Oh yeah. For me and Asif, the police were our alibi. All that year, I was doing community service and probation. One was for violence disorder, uh, and the second one was for uh, fraud and deception. So basically, even if, if it was January or August, I was still covered because the whole year I was in and out of court and, you know, in the police station on, on bail. I have some letters for you. I'll give them to the Americans to censor. OK. I'm here about the video. How many times do I have to answer these questions, man? If you're not here to help, yeah? I've got nothing to say to you, just go. I am here to help you. Yeah, you came before you did fuck all, man. Huh? I'm sorry. Fuck off, man. Just fuck off. You guys fucked up. What? You were belligerent and uncooperative. Where are my letters, man? This is... I'm gonna give the letters to you. You're not gonna get your fucking letters back. You were uncooperative. Fuck off, man. After about three months, they dropped it. Said, oh, you, okay, we made a grave mistake. Congratulations. You've been cleared. Then we were all taken out of isolation and we support together and we start being called the Three Kings because we used to get four meals, double meals, films every Sunday, McDonald's, Pizza Hut. I want you to help us. I want you to come work for us. If you work for us, I'll get you out of here in a couple of weeks. Fuck that shit, man. Working for youth, fuck off. Rule Shafiq and Asif were kept in Guantanamo for another three months. Salam Asim, bro. Kesil. Kesil. Thik. Kaifa Halak. Kaifa Halak. How are you? Tum thik ho, dost? They were still not allowed to see or speak to their family or lawyers. Ah, shukriya, bro. Thik ho. Sign this piece of paper saying that you were detained in Guantanamo Bay because you were linked to Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. No. Oh, fuck yourself. Fuck you, man. I ain't fucking signing that. Then you're never going home. It was never confirmed. They never said, oh, it wasn't you. No, they never admitted to them being wrong. More than 750 people have been imprisoned in Guantanamo. It is estimated 500 are still there. Only 10 have ever been charged. None have ever been found guilty of any crime. This one wants to send me back here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know one thing? You can't send me back here. Yeah? You don't fucking own me. Move the camera, man. Fucking move the camera. British detainees arrived home today from Guantanamo. They were flown by the RAF to Northolt, where they were taken by police to Paddington Green Station before being released. I went to a hotel. I got the first, and I was waiting there for about five, ten minutes, and then uh, the door, door knocked and I opened it. It was my dad. I was just, just kind of hugged. So they didn't really say anything. It's changed my life. My life's completely different. The way I look at things, the way I look at what's happening in the world. The world's not a nice place. 
looking back at it now, yeah, it was an experience. And it has changed my life for the better for me, so I don't really regret it. I haven't trained a great deal, just that I practice my religion more than I did before. I mean, I didn't practice at all before. I think it's, it's best for me to, like, to move on with my life, to start stepping forward instead of looking back. It's time to move on. If we went straight from Lahore, yeah, we would have gone a different way. You can ask someone who has reached the road, and you can ask someone who has reached the road. Who are you? Who are you? Is it getting hot or is it being hot? Maybe it's hot or hot. Hot or hot. Maybe it's hot or hot. This is like his best one. Where is it? 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 Where is it?